Xerox, run another one. Speech crazy, crazy. Uh. Jeez. So we are bu- 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 buck. It's the world's most smoked out podcast. We love hip hop. I'm your host with the most toast Friday, Ricky Tread, aka Media Rick, aka This Is My Job, Rick, aka. <laughs> <laughs> aka <laughs> Uh, where's my morphia? Morphia. Um, and we're in a barber shop. So across from me. <laughs> yo, yo, it's me, PK Herc. You don't know, one and only, hey. Smokey the Bear, Paul Bunyan. Morphia. You see me in the building. We're doing it up. Shout out the barber shop. You know what I'm saying? We're not getting no lineup, so we're all good. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, big up one episode 194. Oh. Ah, uh, the ace. Had to bring it in classy today because we got a special, special guest. Oh, yes. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, we're doing this big. We're over here at Rock the House Barbershop. And, um, you know, we have the one and only, you know, well, introduce yourself to the people here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Check one, two, one, two. Yours truly, your boy, Big Rock, the landlord. Hey. Not doing a good job at it, but you know what I'm saying? Rock the house in the building. Toronto's own. You got the ace of spade, you ready to pop right there? Yes, sir, man. Just to let you guys know before we even start, man, and get it on. This is this is a big deal, man, and I'm honored to be on the show. You know, we've been talking about it for years. It seems like years. Mm. And and you know, I'm a firm believer of when the time is right, right? Mm-hmm. And and now definitely the time is right. And again, I appreciate it, and I'm honored to be in your presence. And um, yo, man, it's a big deal, man. I need y'all to know I'm proud of y'all, and the world is watching. Yo, thank the you. The world man. is watching. Back ah. <laughs> yo, you're making me blush right now. <laughs> <laughs> How do you make a Darcy nigga like Friday blush? How? Oh, real oh, shit. Oh. And I wanted to, you know, we, it, it's a celebration when we in the building, man. Shout out to Nate Beasy. Uh, shout out to Sloogie Madugi. Uh, shout out to Gut. Shout out to PK. Shout out to Friday. Uh, 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 Gucci. Gucci. You already yeah, know, man. Yeah. It's a celebration when we in the building. It's a celebration, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, it's a celebration. Jeez. Yo, okay, yo, yeah, big, yeah, big shout out to Nate Bob, big shout out to fucking yes, Tony the, the Barber, you know what I'm saying? In the cut, in the AKA cut. Sloogie Madoogie. Sloogie Madoogie, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, PK Herc, let, let, you got some shout outs before we get into this w- w- Wagwans? Yeah, you know what, actually, I'm gonna shout out, it's Earth Day, it's an Earth Day, it's early birthday, so I'm gonna shout out. My cuz Frankie Payne, hey, Adam yeah. Baum from Empire, alumni, and from and alumni, and hey. from Freedom Writers, and from doing his own thing. Um, big up Easy Yano, you know what I'm saying? His birthday is also coming up this weekend, this hey, Friday. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So big yourself up, and um, big up Park Deal. Big up all the mandem. You know who you are. PK all day. I know I'm gonna hear some flack for the mandem talk, but it's okay. Big up my Bridget Junior. You understand what I'm saying? The, one of the funniest people I know. Mm. And um, big up my gym, although it's closed right now. But uh, yeah, so happy birthday to the man, those guys that I, uh, you know, October 16th. I know it's early, but big up. Oh, yeah. And also, I want to shout out a birthday shout out to Eugene also. Mm. That's my um, cousin's son. So yeah, big up to Eugene. He's going to be a big 20 this year. So. Little big man. Yeah, no, no, no. He ain't little big man. He's just a big man. He's a big man now. <laughs> but yeah, shout out the fam. And um, yeah. Shout out Heart of Toronto. Shout out Beast Mode. Shout out Sports Focus Collective. Shout out We Love Hip Hop. The whole staff, team, family, everybody. You know who you are. And uh, big up. That's it. Well, yeah, man. Um, Gutsy guts. Yo, Earthings, Earthings. Shout outs. Earthings. What's going on, peoples? Um, you don't know what your boy Gutsy Guts in the building. 
Um, shout out the team like usual. Shout out my uncle Rat the house. Really quick too. All right, Peter Rockwell. You know we were talking about that behind the scenes. We'll get into that, but rest in peace, Rockwell. Rockwell. Uh, Millionaire talks. And yeah, um, just big up Toronto. You guys do better like always. Um, shout out Six Views. Uh, Empress, uncle, Raheel, uncle, uncle. make sure you take in the uh, Six Views Uncut episode 19, killer episode with the sad shorties, um, Destiny, Kiana, and Kai Casanova. Uh, check out those segments. They're out right now. Just subscribe, comment, comment getting strong in there like always. And yeah, Facts. man, just, yeah, just, just be better Toronto. Jesus Christ, it hurts me. But yeah, just do better Toronto. Yeah, man. Gucci Gucci, what you saying? Yo, big up the team, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to the supporters for, like, watching us and, you know, get us going. Like, you know what I mean? Big up Rock the House for having us, you know. It's, exactly. like, I appreciate being here, you know what I mean? Because I seen him on Rap Sheet back in the days. So, you know, just to be here, it's even, like, a blessing. But, yeah, big up everybody, you know what I mean, who's just rocking with us, the whole team. You already know, Gucci, gang. Gang, gang. Hey. Um, I want to give a quick set of shout outs to all our um, supporters out there, the people who are watching on YouTube. Like Gutsy said, make sure to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Shout out to all the members. Um, shout out to all the listeners who are listening on SoundCloud, um, Spotify, iTunes, Podcast, Stitcher, and all the listening platforms. Um, make sure to leave your comments below if you're feeling these audios right here. Um, shout out to the Cubicle Gang, all the people at their desk right now listening to us. Um, gang, gang. Um, let's do a quick ad before we get into this. You know what I'm saying? Give a shout out to our sponsors here from, um, let's, uh, let's do a couple of ads here. Let's start with Sovereign. I want to shout out Sovereign. Um, shout out our sponsor Sovereign. Sovereign is a supporter of the We Love Hip Hop podcast and provides a wide variety of cannabis products with THC and CBD in various forms like tinctures, vapes, topicals, and more. Whether you're looking for recreational THC or pure medical CBD, they have what you need, Sovereign got you covered they provide the best quality products on the market everyone from athletes to rappers to people who just are curious about trying good cannabis are trying it and loving it you can try sovereign extract products today by visiting the mrgreen.ca and save 10 percent off your order with the coupon code we love hip-hop that's 10 percent off of sovereign extracts products when you hit mr green yeah the mrgreen.ca with the discount code we love hip-hop Scene. Big shots to Sovereign. Facto. Also, we got um, another sponsor in the building. Big shout to Hong Xing. You know what I'm saying? They got some of uh, the things on their selection here. You know what I mean? Great Chinese food in the city. Um, Hong Xing has been serving Toronto the best Chinese food since 97. Hong Xing is trying to be what a 21st century Chinese restaurant should look like. Yeah, focusing the brand on building, oh, sorry, focusing on building the brand and three pillars, lifestyle, community, and restaurant, Han Shin believes in being more than a restaurant as it is only extension of the community by serving its community of Toronto over the years. There's more than just a restaurant, it's a part of a lifestyle. They got staple favorites, including the spicy shrimp, General ah. Tao chicken, crispy beef, and Hong Xing released a new Pilsner beer recently in collaboration with Hometown Brewery Company from Norfolk County. The goal of the beer is to elevate the experience of the Chinese takeout and delivery. I tried it. The beer is good. I, I'm going to lie. It's all right. Smooth. It was good. It's a Pilsner. I'm not really a Pilsner fan, but it was good. But um, yeah, the beer was really good. For a Pilsner, yeah, it was all right. But... Yo, Hong Sing is offering 15% off of all online deliveries in Toronto with the We Love Hip Hop code. Online off, um, ordering online at hongsings.com. Follow us on Instagram at hongsings.to. Hong Sing's T-O. Sing. Big shots to Hong Sing. Oh, Hong Sing. Sing. Sorry. I was saying Sing. Sorry. Sing. Big shots to Hong Sing. You know Sing. Um, let's get into a little bit of what's going on before we Mike get into our music. Your mic's fucking up on you right there? Yeah, it's all good. We'll be it good should work. be good right there. Um, what do you, let's get into some of this news before we get into anything, before we get into the music. I was trying to go online to get um, that new thing, the new Serb. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, and whatchamacallit. With the new Serb, I was having a little bit of issues getting through. Yeah, they're saying there were some technical difficulties that should have been fixed by now. So yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry, you know. Apply, what is it, 500 a week for 26 weeks? 500 a week, it comes out to actually like 450, they said, after taxes, right? Um, however, I tried, they said that they fixed the shit, 
on CP24, right? But then when I went on the system, and, you know, just for a friend. <laughs> and <laughs> for a friend. Okay. Um, That's like yeah. saying allegedly. Yeah. Right? Right. But right. I went on allegedly. <laughs> There's you know, no proof. You know, I, w- I was over my friend's shoulder, and I was like, wait a minute. It's not working. Oh, oh, you're reading over somebody's shoulder. Oh, oh they, were, they had it on speaker, right? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm and they couldn't get through to the line. Oh, then they tried no to get kidding. through on on the on the website. Website wasn't working either. So whatever they said that what, that the shit was fixed, that shit ain't fixed, fam. That's a lie. Why don't mm. they just swap everybody over? If you were already on Serb, why don't they just swap everybody to net? Why do you have to sign up again? Like I, because they're trying to make it difficult. Like they don't want to give you the money, fam. That's all it really is. It's like they don't. They what? We're already halfway through October. Like, yo, for something that was supposed to be a two week lockdown. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Still. Well, listen, man, Rock. What you got on this? What What do you think about this whole Serb thing? Have you seen anybody getting any of these Serb scams and shit like that? Me personally, no. But I'm hearing about it though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the craziest thing you heard of so far? I mean. I mean, it's like what you heard, a lot of people is just shamming the system. If there's a loophole, mm. do your thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah I'm yeah. indifferent. I'm indifferent. <laughs> <laughs> get it how you live. You got to get it how you live. Have you collected a Serb? I'm not even going to lie. I did it twice. I did Ain't it no twice. no shame in the game. Fuck, they right? giving twice. Free money. I said, uh-uh-uh, and boom, I got it right away. I'm like... Word? And then I did it again. Boom, I got it. And I just said, you know what? Let me just Fall chill. Back. <laughs> yeah, let me just chill. Fall back. This niggas act like it was a slot machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, he's full. Yeah, he swung the arm. He pulled the lever, bro. You're good on gas for two months. Now you're going to lie. Oh, man. Hey. Oh, man. Well, any biggest Serb fraud did you see in so far? Well, I seen one lady. She must have came and she must have opened like four bank accounts or something like that. And she must have given out different names, but they caught her because mm. obviously you have to use your social insurance. Mm. But she was trying to cash multiple checks. I don't know if she had other social insurance numbers she was running also. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's the biggest one I seen. She got like twenty grand, forty grand, or something like that. What? Yeah, she was working the system, like from Quebec all the way down. Like she was working the system. That's crazy. I think she was going province to province. You know what I'm saying? Just collecting. Fucking finesse queen. See? <laughs> what is it? It's a fraud overcharge. Mm. Yo, man, didn't then hear about the Pretty Ricky guy, though? Well, yeah, I heard Ricky, about that. What happened? He got like 20 million or something like that, yeah. right? Yeah. What? what? When the guys from the group, the R&B group Pretty Ricky, yep, yep, he's yep. facing like, he's facing life, actually. He's facing a lot of years, yeah. Wow. For what, fraud? Yes. Yeah, he did a Serb fraud. He was doing For it. For $20 million? Like the business loan one. Oh, he got, he got damn. Yeah, 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 yeah. He went yeah, for I the see gusto. Some, I see some page. I see like it was one Instagram page I seen pop up. I bought a car off a of Serb. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yo, then also you have remember these guys too, the Serb gang. Mm. Right? The people, are out gang. There, people are out there doing their thing. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. Yo, if it's, if like you said, like, who was saying, I remember saying, yo, I remember something, yo. I have a family member, mm. straight bucket, straight crackhead, bro. The man's a straight crackhead. The man had six grand burning a hole in his pocket, bro. What, from the Serb? From Serb. Yo, the man applied three times. Bop, 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 bop. Six grand burning a hole in his pocket. He's a crackhead, bro. So you know where that went. You understand what I'm saying? Right to the corner. Yo, that's like Dave Chappelle. Oh, I'm going to buy the biggest stone you ever wanted. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, the man took the six. He's like, yo, it was burning a hole in his pocket, bro. Nigga six smoke grand. himself into a coma. But yeah, so there's a bunch of fraud going on out there, man. What do you expect? Get it all you live. Right? If they giving it away, <laughs> shit. So, yeah, you so live. it's Baby Blue from uh, Pretty Ricky. 24 million COVID relief uh, scheme. He's in wow. Canada or the States? No, States. no, no in the States. He's like yeah, Atlanta or some know, shit like yeah. that. 24 million. Damn, that was quick. Over five months? No, because they're doing the business loan. Yeah, but I'm saying over five months, what do you, you a twenty four million dollars? What kind of business are you doing, bro? Hey, <laughs> bro, you can like set up like yo, I got this amount but of that's employees. What I'm, but this is what I'm saying though. But like, okay, so, Kanye applied for the shit. I think. Yeah, well, Kanye million openly said he's fifty five million dollars in debt a couple years ago. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So if they giving away money, <laughs> he pretty much like um, falsified documents to obtain PPP loans. Oh, uh, for PPE for his company. For his company. So they uh, give. I guess it's different out there. I guess they're giving out big loans and shit to people. So he falsified a couple of them. He got like um, four hundred twenty-six dollars for one company, 
Seven hundred in. Oh, so he had multiple companies. Yeah, he, he, was doing, he just he was, ran yeah, it up. He was just running. Oh, up. the man did a Ponzi scheme. Wow. He got busted. And then he baited himself by buying like luxury cars and shit, like an idiot. Wow. That's what's wrong, man. That's some nigga shit. That's like, hey, man. I tell you, one time I was in a holding cell, seen this white guy sitting in the corner, mm. head down. I'm pretty sure I said this story before. Yo, the man said that I'm like, yo, what's wrong, bro? He's like, I'm greedy, bro. What? <laughs> I'm greedy, bro. Okay. The man basically. Must have hacked a million dollars. Crazy. And got away. The man got caught going back for the second million. Wow. <laughs> so you got away with the first one and you went back for a next one? That's why the man's sitting there in the corner saying, I'm greedy, fam. I'm greedy. Because he, he knew. Mm. He's like, yo, I got away scot-free. And then I went back for the second one. Couldn't let it go, bro. That's when they got him. Uh, That's when they got him. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, well, shout out to all the Serb gang. Don't be there. greedy, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I took with the, with the, from the great word the DMX. Stop being greedy. Ah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Um, y'all want to get to some music? Yeah, we could do that. Uh, let me see here. You saying, Yo, Guts, can you pass me a cup or something? You smoking this right Ash, sure. No, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. Okay. All right, so let's get to some music. Um, Rock, did you get a chance to check out some of those music videos? That, uh... Yes, I did, actually. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I took okay. in a lot of them, actually, last night. Okay. Dope, 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 dope. So just to let you, just to get you, like, acclimated on how, like, we do our music list, just, like, in case you don't know. Yes, sir. We put together, like, every Tuesday afternoon there's a list of new music videos okay there's like upwards of maybe 30 music videos that the people could choose from all 500 views and up yeah the minimum criteria is 500 views on your song yeah right right right. and this has to be a new music video so it can't be like your song from back in july that got 500 views like right now right, right. it has to drop right away yeah so like if it dropped last week by the time we get to making a new list you should have 500 views on the thing right right from there we put that out the comment gang lets us know who is the, the number one. Right. Right. And that's how we narrow it down. Mm. All right. So shout out to the comment gang. We got six. It was hard to narrow down this week, to be honest. Right. Like a lot of votes came in. That's but what's up. we got we got a nice a nice list of six right here. So number six. Famous JL intent to sell. Oh L, what happened? We gonna blitz your man like Madden. 357 in a Mac 10. I'm gonna step to the left when I That's the Marsquise, bro. Mm, that's his brother, Ooh, brother? Say where? I think so, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's his brother. Uh, yeah. I don't know if they wanted that out there, but. No, well, that's why he keeps on sending the, 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 the DMs with that. Okay. My bad. That makes me look at the song so different now. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of that tune right there? I like it. I like yeah? it. I checked all of them. I'm not gonna lie. They all got potential. Production is good, visuals is good. And they stepping up their game, man, in, mm. a, in a major way. I like oh, it. Oh, Toronto's been stepping yeah. up his game in the last year. I easily. Like I like it. I like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's Digging rolling it. in the whip. You know what I'm saying? He's he's it's it's uh it's just a chill vibe, you know what I'm saying? The bars mm -hmm. he's flipping though. The way he's flipping them from like certain topics, like certain things, how he's connecting them and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guts, you guys, anybody else? What you what y'all think about this tune right here? Uh it was all right. I, I like the video. I, I like the look of it. Was it too heavy on the the, the, the song itself? Mm. I like the name of the song. But what? yeah, um, I'm interested to see more. Is this his first track? I, no, mm. no, he's been on the list he, he before. Did? He was like, okay. I think the last time he was on the list he was, was like, like number two number or one. one. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. he be been doing his thing. So, yeah. I got to hear more from him. But yeah, I, I like the video though. Yeah. Gucci Gucci, got a chance to check that out? Yeah, I checked it out. It was all right. Like. I felt like the beat took so long to like kick in, like you know, like a good forty second before it started. Mm. But I mean, he could spit, so you know, I give him that. Like, it was alright to me, it's whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. He definitely, definitely did his thing on that tune right there. Big shouts to to famous JL. Big, 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 big tune. Let me see here. Um, wait a minute here. Is this a new addition to the list here? This number five, or was this always here? No, that was there. The freestyle. No. Yeah, that was there. Oh, Cho you know what? I'm there reading it different. <laughs> <laughs> different. I had a mush up today. Okay, so number five, because I thought it was a complete different and name. You're wearing your protector. <laughs> Stop this. Well, number five, Cholo Cash, Cha Cha 
freestyle. My temper just getting it. Tell her don't act because baby, I'm dumb. We move that hop, but baby, not summer. Tell her I love her, baby, don't love I thought it said shock layer for a second. Uh, I thought the same thing too. No, I, I did too when I first look. seen it. You I had, had to double, double take. Yeah, had to double yeah, take. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And with shock layer having a new track out there, big up. Well, he's an honorable mention, so I was like, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, but I'm just saying, but like, yeah, it just, I thought, oh, he made, he's on the list. Yeah. But what, I'm saying, yo, I thought the young, I said, what, the young people came out for Chuck Lair? What? Mm. This is nuts. But yeah, man, shout out to Cholo Cash, though. He, yeah. He's the, the young gentleman who, he's by himself. He kind of, what, yeah. what do I describe what he looks like? And I don't know he's this. He's young. He looks young. He's, 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 a, he's a young gentleman. You know the anime characters there with the with the hair up kind of guys there. He's wearing a baseball hat. You look like Goku in them niggas. <laughs> but the man's wearing a baseball hat. <laughs> he's got that kind of kind of look to him, like. He's young, man. I just think he's young. He's just that's all it is. I just think he's young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I he's... don't like the fact that the man has hair. I think that's it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I got hair, fam. I got a hairline. I'm at the barber shop. This is where I come. <laughs> <laughs> shout out the barber shop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> barber knows what it is. You know what I'm saying? Barber, shout out barber. Trust me. But um, one thing I, I, Rock, what do you think before I get my my opinions on this? What do you think of this, Jude? I like it again. I, every everyone on the list. I took a look at it. I like it. Mm. I like it. I like it. Potential. Potential. Yeah. Production is heavy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm there watching. I like it. I ain't got nothing negative to say. Um, is he black? <laughs> I think he's mixed. Well, listen to his name. Cholo. Spanish. Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. Are we are we gonna do this conversation now, or can we save it from? Are we do you want to save this for another day? Well, what's going on? Are Spanish niggas allowed to say the word nigga? Okay, I say yes, but they they're okay. It depends on which generation it is, mm. because the older people they they don't like they don't like black people. Mayate, <laughs> yo. <laughs> I know that word from experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's when that's how the, these guys would say it. Now it's cool to say it. Mm. When they were saying it when we were in high school, it was a diss. It was derogatory. You know what I'm saying? It was a, oh, yo, look at the Miates over there. Like, yo, they want, you know what I'm saying? There was enough static between Spanish and black people in my high school. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, yeah, this new generation... They'll say, yeah, they can say it because, you know, they have family members that are black. Yeah. But if you look, like, I think it's Argentina, Argentina or whatever, they, 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 they bred out the blackness, eh? Mm. Yo, they bred out the black. There's a famous portrait there. Oh, you remember telling the, us about yeah, that? Yeah, the yeah. grandmother and the daughter who's mixed and the white husband and the grandchild who's basically white now because they bred out the blackness and the grandma's thanking for this. Like, yeah. what? Get out of here. But yeah, so... I think maybe the new generation, but the old generation, they 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 racist with it. Mm. You know what I mean? Like for example, how Chroma said her grandmother is is black. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, yeah, yeah. Word, right, but is her grandmother the type of black that embraces the black culture in Spanish, or mm. she was negative towards the black culture? And it's not a diss; it's just a question. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah, saying? yeah, yeah. So, but there's that right because they'll have black people in their family and they'll act like they don't even exist. Yeah, you know what I mean? So. It's a it's a double edged sword, really, for when it comes to Hispanic people. Yeah, what do you think, Rock? Can Spanish people say the word "nigga"? I mean, again, it depends on environment. You know what I'm saying? Depending, you know, a person that grew up in the hood, mm. a person that grew up around blacks, a person that grew up around herring. I think, yeah, you can't be too too biased. Yeah, I think I think they can say it. why not? Okay, okay, okay. Why not? I seen that kid. What's the the, the rat? What's his name? Uh, Takachi. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same oh, topic. We call him Lace Front, right? Lace Front, yeah. 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 He was talking about the same thing because people was getting on him <coughs> about this whole nigga, 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 nigga. Yeah. But he said, listen, I grew up in the hood. I grew up in Brooklyn, East New York. Mm -hmm. And that's all I grew up around. Niggas say niggas, niggas, niggas. So yeah. fuck it. I'm going to say nigga. And he ain't wrong. He right. It is what it is based on your environment, how you grew up, where you grew up, who you mm -hmm. grew up around. So, no, no, yeah, no. ain't no biases. I hear that. I hear that. Um, anything else on this, this Cholo Cash tune before we move on to the next one? You gentlemen here on the side? Nah, it's an alright tune. And my opinion, nah, they can't say nigga. <laughs> Gutsy, that's a hard no from Gutsy. Yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? Gucci Gucci. I mean, it's it's all right still, but like I don't mind. I don't mind still. Like I feel like everybody says it. I don't mind. Like if you're gonna say that, yeah, I don't mind. I'm too used to it. like. Whatever. It Gucci, is what it Gucci is. Gucci just laid back. He just laid back in the cut. Yo, you know Gucci. What I mean? Yo, don't, yo, Gucci. Yeah. King laid back, yo. King laid back. That's the rapper on the squad. That's what's up. That's the rapper. Trust me. Nah. Well, big up the Cholo Cash, yo. Big, big tune. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, started you a got discussion. the 40 with the mop or the stick on it. He said something like that. Yeah, these kids are quiling, yo. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and it was a quick us, too. It was like a minute and 30 seconds or something. It was a freestyle. It was Done. a freestyle. So a quick yeah, yeah. 16. True, true. True. All I gotta do is get it off my chest, mm. real quick. You know what I'm saying? You want to hear a song? Here we go. Um, right. But number four, and this is six list in the We Love Hip Hop alumni right here. Trap, formerly known as Dusty Wallace, Dollar and a Dream. I want a dollar in a dream. I'm on a real money scheme. Yo, my yo, beer fucking little houses and condos <laughs> emojis. Well, you said your comment section came alive. Yeah, <laughs> that clip that we put up, the two, the usual one, but yeah, yo, yeah, a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot. There was a lot of those those little condos or little houses, whatever. The trap house, I guess, is supposed to represent the, the trap. trap house. Yeah. So yeah, he had a bunch of those popping up. Everybody, those fire emoji, trap house, trap house, fire emoji, trap house, fire emoji. I was like, holy shit. Okay, Wallace. Oh, sorry, trapper. Trap. Trap. Yeah, because he's been through how many name changes now? I think he's on his third one now. Yeah. Wow. Okay. All the power to you, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That video. That's like. You know the um, Rihanna, um, Jay Z run this town. And Kanye like that, West. Yeah, yeah, that Armageddon style type of thing with the fire and they're in the streets, like. Yeah, I'm noticing these these the the, the, the directors or the editors they stepping their game up too. Yeah, I'm starting to see a lot of effects, and I'm like, oh shit, okay. Yeah. You know what's happening because okay. the field is getting saturated. There's more, you know, they got to stand out. Mm-hmm. They gotta make their, they gotta make themselves be like, oh yo, I need a video from, or my edits need to be by this guy. You Factual. know what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. he does it right. Doesn't matter what the treatment is, the mm-hmm. edits always come out fuego. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah, 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 yeah. So, and and Dusty, he's 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 doing his thing on that tune. He's, he's just spitting. Yeah, he always yo when he raps, he drops tracks. He always drops tracks. They're mm-hmm. always good. Mm-hmm. They're mm-hmm. always good. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, man. Big up to Dusty. Um, any of y'all? Any, Got anything on this Dusty Wallace tune? Yes, yeah, or sorry, dope. trap tune. It's a dope uh, video. I like it's the video. It's gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, sorry, sorry, Gucci. Yes, a dope video. I like mm. the song. Dope video. Okay, okay. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. It's all right. It's the, I like the the production of it though. Mm. But yeah, it's all right. It's okay. All right. Well, big up the trap. You know what I'm saying? Number four on the list right here. Common Gang came out super strong, like Herc was saying. Hella houses, you know what I'm saying? Little, little trap spots. Yeah, man. So big up, big up, big up the trap. But we're in the top three right now. Number three, and this top three, just to be transparent, was really hard to pick, yo. Like, a lot of votes came in this week. Like, big up to the Common Gang, yo. But number three. They like what they like, man. Yeah. Tay Stacks, nothing for me. Can't get no sleep. Can't get no sleep. This junkie keep ringing my phone, but I'm low, and I gotta re. I gotta re. I pick up the pack. I like this track. Cheese. I like this track. I like my this tune. Track. I like this track. Like and this, this is the late entry too, you know, because like, <laughs> it was, like the top six was being built, and there was another six, and then all of a sudden just votes started coming in crazy for yo, her. Yo, she do the thing in that video, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. she's walking in downtown Toronto. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So. You can get that vibe, you know, you get that city vibe from the video, you yeah. know, just uh yeah. yeah man, I like it. I liked what I seen. Um, is she in push? No. no she not in push? I'm confusing I her. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. Maybe in a new episode, I'm not sure, but I don't even think they did a new episode right now, right? No, no, no. I haven't so seen no, that. no, no. She's not I don't think she's in push, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rock, you seen that video there? Seen it. What you think? Fire, I like it. Bars again, up. again. Every video on the list, I'm going to keep saying it. 
I liked. <laughs> <laughs> I like. No, for real. I feel like Rock is giving the politically correct. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> based on the based on the first six videos, I actually went into the big list mm. and I started now looking and looking because really? I was yeah, because I was like, you know, I don't really listen to too much, mm -hmm. but again, getting into Juice, that's when I was like, yo, this is actually good shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm the saying? Music is every last good. every last one of them, and I, and what I noticed is the production on the beats, they stepped up. Yeah. From a year ago, from six months ago, it's fire, man. Hey. It's fire. So I like it. Real shit. Beat makers had time. Yeah. Mm, they yeah, had yeah, time yeah, to yeah, sit yeah, down yeah. and really make some beats. Real yeah. shit. Real shit. I Five like it. Five months of quarantine. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're definitely going to have a, a, a beat conversation just now. So that's actually good that you brought that up. That's what's up. It's foreshadowing. Um, but yeah. Anything else on this taste axe here? I love it. Sorry. <laughs> this is my song. Of the, this has been my song. I've been waiting for them to drop it. Shout out, Brown Guy made it. Um, yeah, taste axe is rock. I like the fact, too, that, like Kirk's saying, she's walking down, like, wh whatever, downtown, just Queen regular. Street. She's like, Queen Spadina. Like, you know what I'm saying? She's all mosh up. By the mm. end of the video, it's Queen and Spadina there. Yeah. By the, the McDonald's, McDonald's there. there. Yeah, Queen <laughs> and Spadina. Yeah, and then after she showed the glow up, everything, I just like that. Shout out Taste Stacks. Keep making more music. Be consistent, please, because that's a problem with females in Toronto. But yeah, I'm just glad like to see it. a female on the list. That too. Again, Facts. it's not like it's not. It's 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 a rare sight. Yeah. Because like you said, they need to be more consistent. But the ones that are consistent and the ones that are dropping music, the city is fucking with it. Yeah. So keep your head up. You know what I'm saying? You did it by yourself or, yeah, nobody did it for you. Is that the name of the song? Oh, no one, yeah. Nothing oh, for me or whatever. Nothing for me. Yeah, nothing for me. No, nobody did nothing for her. Right? You so keep I'm doing saying? your thing. You obviously figured out a game plan. Mm. So run with it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was a big tune. And, yeah, 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 yeah. This is a good one. This is a good one. But I think the second one, the next track is, is mine for the week. That's your tune right my there. My tune for the week, yeah. Well, let's get to it here. Um, Gucci, you got anything before um, before we move on to number two? Yeah, um, I like to see a female on the list, and yeah, definitely it was a good tune. I like it, I like it, and production again, like it was good as well. So like, I love to see a female doing her thing. So no, it was a good track. So I like it. I mess with it. Yeah, man. I'll say that's my pick of the week, actually, too. Gee. Oh, you heard it from Gucci. Oh Gucci gang, 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 gang. <laughs> Don't worry, I threw some more fires in there for you, Gucci. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. But yeah, man, big up the taste stacks. Big, big, big tune. Comment gang scrown. But number two, Yaya change. But we are not the same. I ain't never had nothing. Always getting into something. Now I'm getting to the bay. This is a big tune still. Big one. Yeah, man, man's talking some sense on that too. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just trying to get some conscious shit. You trying to get conscious? You need to try to kick some knowledge? You trying to kick some knowledge, nigga? <laughs> you know Maybe we need that, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, need yeah, more yeah. positivity in the rap game, you know? Like, it gets boring to hear about ops all the time. Op this, op that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. What you think about that tune right there? Again. <laughs> and I, know, I should have said nah, it. Nah, nah, real shit, real shit. Again. <laughs> I remember the name too, Yaya. I looked at it, fire. I like the fact that you said that too because you're right. Um, that's another conversation. I'm not gonna say it, but I like to call it the low vibrational music. Mm. But if you in that, if you in that mood, it's fire, man. But like what you just said, it gets boring after a while. Yeah. The same, you know, the sticks in the '30s and the. Uh, yeah. uh. But let's stick to the script. Fire. I like it. Yeah, 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 I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. No, I, listen, I, I'm, I'm fucking with that tune a lot too, man. Like, I like the visuals as well. You know what I'm saying? The visuals are very, very fire. Um, big up to Yaya. They're doing their thing. Yeah. You didn't see the man doing his dance? Next time, I'm surprised you're not jumping up to do the dance Friday. The man was doing the dance. You missed the dance in that one? <laughs> I've got too much too much wires and stuff. Yeah, in here, the man's you know doing the dance in that one. Yeah. The homeboy in the orange hoodie, I think. He's wearing an orange hoodie. Uh, man's doing his own little bop on the side. He's not. He's just in the back, like you know what I'm saying? i got to review this dance. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah. Now yeah. I'm curious to see what I'm going here. You, yeah, know what I'm you see the man, he's enjoying himself. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah. rapping, and the next man's just in the back, you know, just enjoying himself. Got his own thing kicking. Um, question, that whip, Wagwan, what is that? That AMG something something. That's a Benz. So, is that, maybe it's, a, it's just AMG is a kit. Like AMG is like a like a you know like uh, 
performance up, package. Update. Yeah. You know what mm. I mean? Like better brakes, better suspension, better motor. You know what I'm saying? Maybe yeah, a little bit yeah, quality yeah. leather, you know? Shit like that. AMG, you know, it's like when Jay-Z says, oh, um, what's the difference between a, about 30, 40,000 cocksucker? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, what's the difference between a 4.0 and a 4.6? Yeah, about 50, 60 grand cocksucker, exactly. So that's basically what the AMG is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. AMG is that, that's it. Unless you get the Maybach, then, you know, then I think, you know, that's the biggest one they got. I may be wrong. Mm. Yeah. But they got they they got the the, the wagons. Yeah, the wagon and well, the G wagons the, and all of that and stuff. And then they too. got the different levels of wagons. So speaking from a man who probably has experience, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you you hear the there. different <laughs> levels. You know what I'm saying? So like nonchalant, you know, the different levels, the G wagons. That's boss talk what? right there. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Landlord. Landlord. Jeez. Jeez. Um, what else we got? Anybody else got on anything on this ya ya tune right here? Yeah, I like it. Dope tunes still. Video, yeah. nice tune. Uh, Gooch? Gooch? Nah. Respect the collab. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that, that yeah, yeah track was lit, still. That was a lit track. I can't realize though. It, it makes you feel like you want to dance and stuff, you know? Like, it gives you that type of vibe. But um, the video is good as well. Um, nah, it was lit. It was lit. So I like it. Yeah, man. Big shouts to Yaya yeah right there. You know what I'm saying? Big, big, big tune. He got to number two. It was, it, I was going to say it would be close for number one, but number one is actually pretty unanimous at this point right here. You yeah, like I saying? said, like I said, when this guy comes out, the city comes for this guy. Pause. Mm. They, 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 they actually, like, they vote. Yeah. This guy, for the amount of times he's been on the list, the man stays in the top two. One or two. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think maybe once his track was at number three, yeah. but anything else the man dropped, two, one, two, one. Well, this week, what? Last week it was number two. Well, let's 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 let the people know yeah, who yeah. it is. Well, we're gonna yeah. Number one. C row upper and uppers and downers. I told her let me beat it up. She said go make it yours. Used to let the heat of us. I never did no. Uh, that's a that's that drill shit. Yeah, you know I think this is a continuation from that other video. You know, I have a feeling they filmed them both at the same time. With the the other drill tune, the one from last week, well that was number two. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Because same type of vibe, same type of you know like treatment. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. This yeah, one yeah. was better though. You like this one better? <laughs> yeah, don't even fret. This one was better. I, yo, like I didn't like the one last week. I'm not gonna fret. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. I'm still not a huge fan of it, but this yeah. one was better. Yeah. At least, well, to me, at least, my opinion, this one was better. Yeah, yeah. So, by the way, um, Rock Zero is very popular to our list. He, he's he's dropping hella music. That was the first video I looked at, actually. Yeah, yeah. To be yeah. honest, on the list. Go and check him then, out on, on, on YouTube. You'll see this guy has a video like every single week right now. And that's what's up. Consistency. Yeah. yeah and he's consistently it. number one or number two. That's and he's not used to. That's what's up. So now you can't let up now. Now you got to keep working. Mm, yeah, that's the, that's the pressure. The momentum is there. That's the pressure. That's the pressure. That yeah. way. That way. That's what's up. Mm, that is the pressure. You heard it from the landlord himself. You know what I'm saying? Bow, bow, bow. Hey. Um, any anything else on this tune? Gucci Gucci, what you got on this? I didn't even get to see this one. Uh, <laughs> I didn't get to see this one. I don't have a womp womp sound effect. <laughs> womp womp womp. <laughs> oh man. But okay. I like the tune. You know what I'm saying? I, th- I thought the tune was cool. Um not my favorite, but I like the video more. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a fan of all the the, the drugs. I'm a herbalist myself, mm. personally. I like to smoke my weed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I yeah. was naming off beer. I was like, holy. <laughs> 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 like, wow. It's that type of life, bro. That's a party. That's the, it's a what? Turn up to a lifestyle, no? Mm. Yes, it is. Right? So, facts. It's a way of life. <laughs> yeah, it's a way of life. Man. So, yeah. So, I was just listening to And then, you know what I did like about it? I appreciate about this song. Mm. And this and it's weird because I don't like all the drug talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I did appreciate the way he did like a little chopped and screwed version at the end. Mm. You understand? Where it was like, this, it was, yeah, it was like the last couple, of, maybe the last minute was like like chopped and screwed, like slowed down. Slowed it down, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
you know yeah yeah right yeah, so that's yeah, for the people yeah. them that are that are tweaking on them those downers and shit you know they're like oh they're feeling the same way right they're, that's <laughs> they're seeing the trails you know them thing there so they're following the music right? yeah but yeah that's why i'm pretty sure that was for at the end but i don't like all the drug talk but i like that part of the song which is messed up you know, because you're kind of contradicting yourself. Because why did you like it? <laughs> I, I know. Question. I know. No, I like you know them. I, I know, but that's so funny. But it's because also I'm from that. I like that true and scrap air. That true and uh, chopped and screwed. Chopped and screwed era. But I don't drink lean. I don't do that shit. But I can understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I get it. Been blitzed, getting drunk, but not that level with those type of drugs. That's all I'm saying. Them but, kind of levels. Yeah, them levels. Those. those <laughs> Yeah, Those levels yeah. aren't for me. Yeah. Hey, hey, 2020 shit, yo. You know what I'm saying? But big up to C Row. Number one. You know what I'm saying? Number one on the list. Common Gang Strong. Yeah, man. Might have to go holler at him for an interview. We also have to remember mm, our, uncut, our, uncut. Yeah. our opinion doesn't really matter. It's the people that are delivering these picks. The people put you in the spot. So even if we don't like the video, it doesn't really matter. It's all about the people. Because our vote doesn't really count. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. We have our opinion towards the songs. But like our vote, we're not voting for the list. This is sto- solely the fans. So don't be mad if we might say we don't like your track or we like this track better than the next. Yeah. It's nothing personal. Yeah. So yeah, man. Shout out to the comment gang once again. You know what I'm saying? Big up to C Row. Yes, big up. Um, Consistent. Honorable mentions. Prince Don. Convenience. Bod Mania's champion featuring Lindo P, Biggs, and Len Bowen. Ranko featuring Young Caesar. Oh my. Um, MVC and K Goon costume. I'm so full of plan. All the different levels. I cannot complain. I ain't satisfied. Phoenix, too much. Um, HBR Fleazy, Crip Shit. Biz Loke and Blitz 29, Big Factual. Wave Montenga, 808. But I'm still a cookies. Uh, niggas they watching the car. P, that mean I'm a very rookie. She want to keep what she stole. She. LB Spiffy featuring 2K Baby, GoPro, Sticky Gong, Stargaze, um, Stargazing, Nagery, Stick in the Car, Real Freedom, Till Then. And they doubted everything about me. Till then we gotta get it on our own. Trying to figure out if it... Kill a Kill and YNR, Da Vinci, Drippy, Grown Wise Prince, Mirror, Captain Phillip, Pop Smoke, um, 3M French, Fly Away. Focus, we caught him slipping, he ain't notice, yeah, I'm certified. This is in my DM because I'm verified. Irax, Switch Up, C Flows, Go Get It, Danny O, The Deadbeat, Fufu, ex- um, Exclusive Mitch, Fufu. Brick and Big Stone, what a flex on, yeah. They think I'm front and shit. I'm by my dollars and my respect, so I'm front. Um, Mandia, too, um, took so long. Leo Davis, half a mil. Skill Savage, pain. Um, Richin Flaro and Muna um, Karuna, what? Um, Savanti and, or, yeah, or sorry, Va- Savanity and Trendy um, with the mob. TOG and Sincere, whoa, wait. Wody, my dance, ranks and boots in the night. I need a bag and I need it tonight. If you name brand, then you're paying the price. If you name brand, then you're paying the price. Me and NF portion, big steps, Augie Doggy, Forever G, 2 9, Dreams, um, 2 8, um, 2 LJ, Victory. Order some Chinese, fuck any one done. Yeah, come run and back it up. We get the paper. Crazy, neat, um, Legend of the, um, Legend of Sholish 15 YKCGS Slime uh, <coughs> Sorry Lil Richie um 24 and 20 um 42 and 27 featuring 24 heavy and presser Top 5 featuring YG Heard of me Roni Trap Star and last but not least Shaclair Backdraft that list was long as fuck. Bro. Hella long. Holy shit. I only shit. dropped the album too. That album is really fucking good. Sorry, mm. man. Really dope album, Roni. And because you just said that, we going to check it out. Yeah, yeah man. Right. Big shouts to Roni. Yo. Big shouts to everybody on that list right there. There's, yeah, you feeling that, eh? There's, there's oh, yeah. two tracks on that Small list. World. Small World. Mm. Stop this. <laughs> That's actually Roni's. Step pops right there. Exclusive, what? exclusive, it's exclusive, it's exclusive. It's exclusive. It's hold it down, hold it down. Exclusive. <laughs> we, might have to we might have to. 
Whoa, whoa, we weren't <laughs> expecting that. Jeez. So Loney, Loney got a little bit of his bop from the big man, you know? Jeez. Okay. Yeah. We love hip hop exclusive right there. Holy Yo, it, for where we are, if you know, you know. <laughs> Facto. Hey. Facto. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Big facts. Um, there's one thing I want to bring up before we get to our break here. The um, Toronto music, okay? We were talking about the beats, right? Mm -hmm. And how you like the, the way the, the, the production has stepped up. Has Toronto music started to turn into drill music? Yeah. Not yet, but it's going that it's way. It's headed in that direction. That's funny. Like, all the, like all the new songs that I've been seeing pop up on the list and whatnot... Mm -hmm. The influence is is there. The drill influence is more be more. That's the wave. That's the yeah. young wave. And yeah. That's just what it is. This is what they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're right. And this is how they feel when they. This is what they're rapping about too. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's it's like it's it's it seems like it's late for Toronto. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. I was gonna say that. It seems like it's late for Toronto. But I'll say this in Toronto's defense, that whole new sound that Pop Smoke was the forefather of yeah. it's still drill but oh, yeah, drill no. east coast yeah so are they really late drill is dr drill is popular right now right now what's popular in my opinion drill down south atlanta mm. that's the wave especially amongst the young folks yeah, that's yeah. just what it is no the drill is definitely where it's at right now but toronto i feel is a little bit late when it's per se just drill scene like the drill music they're the on it. it don't get me wrong they're on it there's there's like there's there's like um segments little pieces of it mm. you know like that where you see it in their tracks where you know they're drilling it's being it's talked about but now it's more like songs are more like drill Okay, but can we define drill so that... Sorry, Whoa. my bad. Um, can we define drill so that we can like have this conversation even more clearly? Because drill music, and correct me if I'm wrong, is music with that heavy bass, like that has to have a certain kind of beat, and it's music of you going at your ops. That's the, 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 the origins of like UK drill, no? And like that, they came from the, the Chicago scene. Which was they evolved, music. they evolved it, yeah, yeah, because the, the Chicago stuff didn't have the same kind of beats, but it had the, the same type of talks. Well, Chief Keith's the one that's the sound that started it, right? Yeah, but when the UK guys picked it up, they started adding that heavy boom, 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 that, that you know, that so underbelly also, type of beat. That's there. them okay. putting their, their UK spin on it. Mm. So, the definition of drill is drill is a form of trap music that first or, or um, originated in south side of Chicago. The style is prominent part of Chicago hip hop and can be recognized by its violent, dark lyrical content. Mm. So, it focuses on crime and daily ordeals of life on the street. So, that's that's the, the what's that? That's the urban drill. dictionary, yeah, that's the urban dictionary of drill. So, talking about that, so I guess the more. The thing is, UK made it like the, the sound. Mm -hmm. Chicago, they were just drilling. They were whatever, rapping. But UK just had a certain sound that I feel like Pop Smoke and Fabio and those guys kind of implemented. They which expanded I feel like, on, yeah. Yeah, which I feel it like evolves. Toronto is trying to do. Which I'll give YG some credit. Mm. He kind of did that a while ago, I feel. I feel like he was trying to do it. But people just weren't really catching on to it. Whatever. Or they weren't but ready for it. He was early. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay, with that being said now, is Toronto doing drill now? Yes. Most definitely, I think. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's just a part of, like, it's trap, there's drill, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Then there's the that auto-tune, but it's still drill. Mm -hmm. It's still, they all talking about their that's ops more, and their violence that, and whatever. That could be called emo. No. <laughs> like when you're like rapping about your feelings and like you lost your girlfriend rap that type of stuff that's the quote unquote emo rap you know uh, you know like I understand little, little Yachty stuff that type of stuff like little Yachty would be emo juice rather world, than more. drill nah, juice world more juice world I wouldn't say Yachty Yachty's more fun so yeah. ju more juice world um, XXX attention I'm not like RIP to all these guys but yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah, would yeah, be yeah. Crazy. the emo guys okay 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 yeah so yeah, we have different styles of hip-hop at this point. You know what I'm saying? It's evolving. Mm. There's always... But Toronto has its own sound on top of that. Mm. Explain. 
It's just with our own, with our, just our cadence, our swag, just the way we talk, yeah. everything. Yeah. We have our own sound. Would you say that OVO sound is the sound? I wouldn't say so. I'm not going to say that's the sound. And no sound. disrespect to them, but I wouldn't definitely, say so. Definitely, definitely. But I'm, I'm just say saying in terms, of, in terms of production, for the last six, seven years, that production, that under the water, that filter mm -hmm. has become a certain sound. Yes. If yes. you understand what I'm saying, and not only Toronto, but the U.S. is even adapted to this sound. Mm. I'm going to just throw that out there and see what y'all do with it. Okay. But you just said <laughs> Toronto has a sound. Is that the Caribbean? Yeah, well, because that's because there's so much. Yeah, it has that, you know, that Jamaican, Batois, the, the that, Guyanese, that, Barbadian, that Trini, just that Caribbean. underbelly of Caribbean right. that right. Toronto right. has. I get it. I get it. You know, I get it. That's all it is because all of us, we've been around someone that's either Jamaican, Bayesian, mm -hmm. Guyanese, something, you know, some type of island, and they have their, their, just their vibe about them. And they bring that to the music. That's what's And that's all throughout the city. Sorry to cut you. I even go one up and even say, like, sorry, the, the Malis and the Somalians, like, that's what they say came with, and they, stuff they, like exactly. that. Exactly. Never, into, never you know was done saying? before so, until, yeah, you They right. came with their, you're that's right. it. All you're of a sudden right. before, yo, think about it. Bhakti. <laughs> that was something that came out of left field. Facto. That was something that, what? And then, like you said, Wallahi and all these other things. Man weren't saying that. You need to say man. Like people weren't saying that before. <laughs> it's true. People yeah. weren't be say, weren't wasn't saying that before in their music. Yeah. And then it started becoming popular <laughs> in I say since what two thousand and eighteen. Yeah. It was just that was when it was just like they started picking up and their sound just started whoa. Mm -hmm. And then you just hear it. And I was at that point like, I, what is what is Bucky? How did you get Bucky? Like, <laughs> I remember buckets. You know, Custies, yeah. all types of other variations. And the, then it was like, Bhakti. The Common Gang put us on. Yeah. Yeah, on the, in the YouTube, they're like, a Bhakti is a, is a Somalian word for bum. You guys, right? are, you guys are idiots. <laughs> something like, something something to that nature. <laughs> but that's what it is, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Toronto has waves. It has waves of sounds and waves of people that are like the it people, if you, you don't understand what I'm saying. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah they yeah, just yeah. like, because remember, most of these um, the Somalians, if I'm not wrong, they came in the 90s when they were young mm -hmm. from like political at whatever back home and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Refugees. Coups and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, right? So they came here and they were young and they watched and they learned. Mm. And then they expanded and they started doing their things to the point where it's like, whoa, okay, you got to give them their shine. These guys are actually putting in their work. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and yeah. doing what they need to be doing, like whatever to get themselves known and then all of a sudden the sound came with it mm -hmm. and then boom now it's just a wave across the city yeah. everybody says wallahi now yeah like yeah. everybody says it yeah. bhaktis everybody says it so they did ingrain their culture yeah. in the hip-hop you yeah. know what i mean well shout out to the whole toronto scene you know what i'm saying i, I feel like right now we're at, like at the height where you know what i'm saying i'm starting to hear people from the states in other states and stuff like that, Atlanta and different places, asking about, yo, how can we get involved? When remember, it used to be the other way around back in the day. You know what I'm saying? So we've come a long way. Mm -hmm. Um, let's cut to a quick break though. Okay. And then we can get to our our interview with the landlord, aka Rock the House. Yes. Shout sir. out to Isaiah Visuals in the building. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, I seen I seen the man pop into the door. I was like, holy Smile, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. Shooter King. We're gonna have to get into action or something over here. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, let's cut to a break here. I got a track I found via the We Love Hip Hop emails. Make sure to email us email us at we love hip hop toronto at gmail.com. Send us your music. Um, this gentleman, his name is YV, and this tune is called Champion. Same. <laughs> You already know what it is, your boy Big Rock, a.k.a. Mr. Landlord, a.k.a. Kind of a big deal. The number one podcast, the number one show in the country. We love hip-hop. Shout out to PK. Shout out to my boy Friday. You know, shout out to Guts. And shout out to everybody looking. You already know, man. We taking it to the top of the world. Peace. All right. Tequila takes you up high. 
So this, this right yeah. here, this is a legendary Jeez. night. Oh, what are you doing over here, Nabob? You're, you're mixing the, the, um, the you want to milk them when you're done? Ace, bro. Yeah. You want to milk them? Jeez. Incredible ace. I think you incredible should go to ace. That's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the incredible ace. That's an incredible ace? That's what I bro, this think. is a We Love Hip Hop exclusive. That's Jeez. an incredible ace. I'm just happy to be here, man. We just made a new drink. Incredible ace. Incredible ace. Incredible ace. We might have started a thing right here. Incredible ace. Um, let's get to our smoke and mirror segment here. You have to we have to advertise that. The incredible ace. The incredible Hennessy ace and, and, and ace of spades. Jeez. The incredible yeah. ace. That's sweet right there. Melon See? Rich. Yeah, Melon Rich approved. <laughs> Melon Rich approved. The <laughs> Hennessy Ace. And for the people who are like just tuning into the smoke and mirrors, um, for the listening audience, you might not hear anything different, but for the people who are watching on YouTube, you see us in this like barbershop atmosphere. We're in the legendary Rock the House Barbershop, and we got... Third location. Third location, and we got... 70 Dundas Street East, Jeez. upstairs from the Burrito Talk Boys. Talk that shit. Yeah. 70 Dundas Talk Street East. Talk that shit. Upstairs <laughs> from know. the Burrito Boys. R-D-H and we will be sponsoring this show for the rest of the year in 2021. I said it. Let's, let's work out the numbers. Let's work out the numbers. Mm. We are now a sponsorer... Oh, oh, we love hip hop. Jeez. It's exclusive. Spontaneous. <laughs> I thought about Jeez. that last night, by the way. Yo. Sponsorship is always in there. Huge. Um, so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, Rock, I, you know, we talked a little bit off camera about what this is, but like for the people who are just tuning into the Smoke and Mirrors, that's like our, our session where we talked about new or we talk about news. You know, we go local. We go global sometimes, we muse, music most of the time. Mostly Toronto and the U.S. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Right, so, um, let's see here. There is a city, okay, can we can we get to some, I see a couple of things here. There's a cancellation of citywide no, basketball contri- yeah. contribution to the gun violence going on in the, in the Toronto streets. Yeah, well, we could talk about it if you want. I, I just, because I had someone actually stop me mm-hmm. last weekend and the man brought that to my attention where he thought, like, yo, he realized that after the citywide got canceled, which is something that happened a couple of years ago, that the city violence, like, it seems like to contribute to the violence in the city. You so know, the citywide is like a basketball tournament? Yeah, it was a basketball, like, where these guys would be, like, literally going from block to block and playing basketball with each other. Okay. Like, you know, like, so it'd be like, you know, maybe Finch versus Falstaff or mm. Falstaff versus Region or Parkdale versus Region or yeah. whatever. But there was conflict. Not like there wasn't conflict, but these guys, before they were all rappers, they were basketball players. Mm. You understand what I'm saying now? That's very true. A lot right? of them were, yeah. And now with the can- there's no more citywide, so all their energy is towards the music and whatever else. So mm. is it a contribution? Was that something that contributed to? The, the, the violence going up. What do you think, Rock? The, the basketball... The, the lack of basketball uh, of or that citywide program specifically even, with that going out of existence, over the years gun violence went up. Um, I mean proof is in the pudding. Maybe they need to counteract that and just instead of having lack of, they need more of. Mm. So you know more programs, more gyms, more, you know what I'm saying, boys and girls clubs. More mentors, more OGs, mm-hmm. more parental guidance. Jeez. And you don't have to there be a parent to guide, mm. but you need more guidance, man. More talking to the youth. That's a bar right there. You don't have to be a parent to guide. That should be a fucking. Or you don't have to be a parent to parent. Well, you know the saying is, it takes a village to raise mm. a child. Right? Child. Mm. It's real. African so. proverb. It's real. So, mm. right? If we look at it like that. Mm. Then we can save a lot of us. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we also yeah, gotta yeah. look, stop looking at each other like we're 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 enemies. We're we're not competition. You know, we should work together. There's a lot for everybody. Yeah. There's more than enough for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. It's, you know, especially a message to you know all of like you know the younger brothers that are out here involved in all of this conflict and all of that. You know, usually we point the the others out like the ops and this and that, but you know, that other dude. He's just like you. Mm-hmm. He's just like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, yeah, really yeah. more like you than, you know, maybe just because he comes from there and you come from here and there's a whole line of, 
you know, history. But it's got to stop somewhere. It's yeah. got to stop somewhere. Otherwise, you know, you just expect it to get worse. And, you know, the whole thing is like these children are so smart. They're so smart. You know, it's like if they could find other creative ways to, you know, channel that energy. Yeah. They could do anything. They could make anything. They could be anything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's the whole fact. You know, and it's, it's all right to be wherever you're at, but you know what I'm saying? If you stay on that path, you you, you know where that shit goes. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it, it's a choice that, that everybody has to make as an individual, you know what I'm saying? Coming up in the game, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's like you said, it's about choices. A lot of, a lot of times people have been making a lot of bad choices and a couple of bad choices will get you fucking life or six feet under, yo. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yo, let the comment gang weigh in on that, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to hear what you guys have to say. I want to hear the comments on what you guys think. Do you think that the cancellation of Citywide and other programs like sports or whatever in the city contributed to the violence that's going on right now? Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Give your honest opinion. If I'm wrong, tell me I'm wrong. You know, if the question's wrong, then give me the answer or show me something else. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, for real, for real. Comment gang strong. Let us know. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, the, the, has the, that going away and other things, you know that's what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Other programs, not only citywide. Yeah. You know, other programs. Yeah. Hey, man, the programs are a blessing and all of that, but, you know, the government ain't our damn parents, man. No, you know it doesn't. Saying? No one's saying these they programs, are. like, at the end of the day... Whether we have them or not, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, yo, these programs, they gonna fucking save us this shit, man. Good. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, grateful for them as long as we got them and they got us doing positive things. But, man, you know what I'm saying? They cancel them. It's a business. Yeah, yeah, the municipality yeah. is a business. Yeah, 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 and, you know what I'm saying? They're not gonna, you know what I'm saying? You know what it is, man. You know what it is, man. Politics. Politics as usual. Man. Politics as usual. Um, there was one thing that you were showing me when we were doing our first segment about Top Gunner. Oh, yeah. We got a message in the group from uh, Empress. So, rapper Top Gunner, I don't know if you've been keeping up with what's been going on, right? We interviewed him two years ago now, back in 2018. Before he went on, his, on the run. Yeah. And, like, a day later after the interview... He was implicated in an incident where, like, two young girls were shot in a playground. Uh -huh. Right? Um, apparently, like, he's from the post that we've seen via Six Wars, he pleaded guilty. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, yeah, hold on a second. Let me uh, pull it up. Yeah. It's a torch. Yeah, so right now, because he was on the run for two since years, that time, two years, basically, and they just got they caught up to him. The the, the boy them just caught up to him like maybe two months ago. Tops. It was um right before Mark sent um the Mark, Mark uh, Chief Saunders. Mark, yeah, Mark Saunders. Yeah, uh, retired. That was like he three said four had, months ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, approximately. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it says right here. Okay, um, so uh, six stars is what I where the post is on. Uh, six right. stars? Yeah, six star. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out six star. So, uh, six I-X-S-T-A-R. Yeah, Toronto Top Gunner pleads guilty to playground shooting. And then it says, uh, Taquan Robertson pleads guilty. Taquan Robertson, uh, 24, made life easy for many by pleading guilty to playground shooting that injured two young girls June 14th. 2018 he uh, entered a guilty plea on october 8 2020 so that's all it, it has here so and then the next post is like wow yeah like keep him or free him whatever you know wow so, so uh, do you think he did the right thing by pleading guilty well fuck <sighs> wow i'm actually at a loss for words for <laughs> you know what it's crazy because sometimes and I'm not trying to defend anybody in any of this, what's going on here, right? Sometimes people plead guilty when they're not necessarily guilty just because the system can kind of put you in that situation. Oh, for sure. I'm not saying that that is his specific situation, but it happens. We do have a street redemption lawyer in the building, Slugi Madugi. Uh, you want to give us, come to the mic, let me ask you a question, Slugi. Because this guy, yeah, this right here a lot of people, when they have problems, 
I say, um, speak to Slugi, he can help you. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a reason why. Big so fans. the man got caught Big up fans. in a shooting, I think it was in the East End. Two young kids was hit, was victimized, and he pleaded guilty to the case. You being the redemption lawyer that you are, did he do a good thing, sir? Mind you, he had charges prior to be already, you know, he already had previous dealings he was dealing with also. So while he got caught up in this. Before this shooting, he was already, allegedly he had his own. See, already. this is the information for the redemption lawyer. Yeah. You have to give him the information, he'll I'm, break I'm, it I'm down for you. Sure, I'm pretty sure he had prior charges. So he had prior charges and then he got caught up in a next charge. And then he was on the run for two years. And then he was on the run and now he's and then, hold on, guilty. Hold on, when he got arrested while he was on the run. He got caught up in a raid with someone else who was on the run. <laughs> <laughs> well, right? I'm not trying to laugh. No, 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 we're not trying to laugh at the no, situation. No, 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 but that's the situation. All right? But this is a movie. Maybe he find himself in a sticky situation that he's going to have a lot of time on his hand. So pleading so guilty might maybe, be a way of... Maybe he's not guilty and he can be guilty, but he's looking at the time. And also there's two other people involved. So why not just put it in one and plead guilty and get it over with? Do it and get all it all over with. If we go to trial with all of those charges, maybe it lasts forever, man. So, mm. so is this a 50-50 one? a 50-50. Redemption lawyer in the building, Tony, 50, 50. a.k.a. Barber, a.k.a. Slugi Madugi. If you have any problems when it comes to law, he will consult you. And he will help you beat the case. Uh, uh, <laughs> For uh, a fee. A uh, small fee. For a small fee. <laughs> Slugy Madugi with, with the knowledge right there. That's no, right. Facts. Well, listen, man. Um, no, but yeah, well, hold your head, whatever. I, I think maybe that was probably the right situation because like our redemption lawyer said, <laughs> the time the time might have been over his head, might have been too much yeah. to take it to trial. Like it might have been be get 10. To plead mm. or take it to trial and maybe face 30. 30 35 Do you understand? Because remember, there's you don't know what he was That's facing kids. before. Kids involved. Right, exactly. Two young, mm. innocent children involved have nothing to do with nothing, minding their business in the playgrounds, playing, right? So yeah. you know that's going to weigh. And then it's either do you deal with a judge? Yeah. Do you deal with the the... the, the, the the jury. You, you know sound what I'm like so, you sound like you went to the school of redemption lawyer. <laughs> you sound yeah, like you're very familiar the with the law as well, right, my friend. Right, right, right. I, I, Maybe I, I, we could formulate a union. I'm a thinker. You Maybe I team you up with Slugi Madugi <laughs> and we consult the young youth and guide well, them and I've, help I've, them be cases. I've I've been consulted by the so redemption lawyer myself <laughs> all right. time. All right. You know what I mean? Okay, you speak I've a been, language. I've been I'm I've, recognizing that you're speaking a language. I've been I've been consulted. <laughs> I've got consultation from said lawyer. <laughs> all so right. All right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So I understand. Uh, Overstand. Yeah. But um yeah. No, I think that I think maybe that was probably the, the, the best solution because you never know, because it's either plea and get the deal or I'm not saying that's the, that was the option. But maybe he just decided, you know what, I had enough of this. Mm. Yeah. You know what, enough's enough. I got to face the fire. Let me just deal with it. Yo, on some real shit, it's like, yo, you get tired of running. And shit. Exactly. It's mm. a, there's a time and a place where you get tired. It's like, you know what? You get tired of running and you just got to take a stand and face everything that you dealt with and just deal with the <laughs> shit and move on with your life. Exactly. That's a fact. Keep it moving. That's a fact. Pay back your debt to society. And come and, and it is fucked up. Well, very I want to send a shout out to um, the the family of the of the of the victims. Of course, hold your head to the to the to the family of the victims, and hopefully the situation turns out to the for the positive for everybody in the end of this in you, some kind of way. You so really, that, sorry yeah. to cut you guys really quick. Can people change? Like, is there redemption for people? Because a lot of times, like when these guys go through stuff or they do stuff, Bro, people I'm are always like proof, forever. Man. I look, am the proof. I am the proof. Yeah. Yeah. So the question is, do people change? You have to want to change, first and foremost. Facts. Mm. Right? And uh, when he says, I mean, I'm a testament, you know, just talking, and I'm glad he's even here today. Deep stories, a lot of stories to tell, and proof. Because he was down, from coming from a bright future to a dark road 
to a bright future again. Mm -hmm. And that was all done by... I remember, I'm going to say this, Brother I remember... Grace, Brother Grace. Yeah. Right? I remember back in the day, this is about 15 years ago, having a conversation with dude about religion and God. And my dude, my brother, looked me in my eyes and said, yo, man, there is no God, man. Fuck God, man. <laughs> I'm, I mean, this is... This is I'm facts. telling you all facts. Yeah, 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 real talks. To where he is right now, a high vibrational individual, mm -hmm. a man who just believes in the higher being. Mm -hmm. And I've seen him from bright to dark to bright again. Mm -hmm. So you ask a question. Ascension. Do people change? Of course. You have to want to change. I'm, I'm yeah. proof myself. So I, I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, Me yeah. too. I just wanted to ask. <laughs> <laughs> You got to want to change, but that's a message in the message in itself. Yeah. You have to want to change. You can lead a horse or a cow or a cattle to the water. You cannot force that cattle to drink. That's, that's the one thing my mom would say to me all the time. That's like you got to want it. You got to want to. That's the saying. You can I, lead that, a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. That's something I refer to a lot in life. Mm -hmm. That's something that... And I'm going to say this, man. I always have a... You know, I break things down. I tell a lot of my colleagues and a lot of people around me that all of us collectively, we're standing in a fresh body of water, mm. a fresh lake of water to the neck. And all we have to do is this and drink, but yet still we're thirsty. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. I'm just painting a picture, no, but yet still a lot of us is thirsty. And all you have to do is just this. You have to take a sip. Um, Gems, bro. I'm going to give you all another quick story here. <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion reconfirms the shooting. All right, Tory Lanez, quick Tory Lanez update. Um, now, she did an op-ed, right, with the New Yorker, or the New York Times, my bad, right? Um, so let me just read something here. An op-ed by Meg Thee Stallion on... <laughs> The need, the need to protect black women was published on Tuesday as the Canadian rapper Tory Lanez had, um, had, been, um, had his first court hearing on felony charges alleging her, or her, he shot her. So this is the quote that she says. I was recently the victim of an act of violence by a man, um, she wrote in the New York Times, without um, naming Tory Lanez. The op-ed was um, published shortly after a judge released him on bail. Now, Tory Lanez is facing 22 years. Yeah, if convicted of all the charges. Yeah. And um, his first appearance, the, the judge ordered him to stay 50 um, meters away from Megan Thee Stallion and surrender all his firearms, and he was, was, his bail was set at $190,000. Do you think the song has Don't something to do with it? Don't contact me either. <sighs> A lot of people song, are saying that. Do you think that song has something to do with it? A lot Most of people high? are saying that, like, that was oh, when the yeah. charges came. After he dropped the album, they were like, all right, let's get these charges go on this, this guy now. Enough's enough. Yeah. That's what they're saying. Like, is he going to make a mockery of us in front of our faces? Mm. The and fact it, that he publicized and promoted and marketed and, you know, people are still hurting, people are still mourning, people are still healing. So it's kind of like, yeah, you slap me, I'm going to slap you back mm. I mean, from, what, message, from what I see. There's a message, and I've seen the video like a couple times. I like, I like the song. Which one, Most High? Yeah. Mm. Oh, about the gas station all night. Yeah, there's, there's, some, there's, <laughs> there's some, yeah, there's some, you know. I'm still trying to find out what gas station they're at for you. Pardon? I'm still trying to find out what gas station that is. I want to know, even though I still want to know, bro. I, I'll go there, I'll post up. Yeah, gas station all night. <laughs> but yeah, man. So... One thing that Gutsy was asking on, on Six Views Uncut, right? Do y'all think this is like a media PR stunt? No. My well, thing is this. Nothing is what it seems. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. But don't be far-fetched if it is. Because nowadays, everything is a play. <laughs> From the debates to the presidential election. elections. Nothing. I've been saying this for about 20 years. It's all smoke and Nothing mirrors. is what smoke it seems. Mirrors. What's the name of this segment? Smoke, smoke and mirrors. mirrors. It's all smoke and mirrors. mirrors. <laughs> Smoking, smoky. It's a game. So listen, you got to be gamed up. <clears throat> because if you don't play the game, then the game gets played on you. And I need to one, say one more thing. A rich man told me one time, life is a game. Are you playing to win or are you playing to lose? Mm. There is yeah. a board game called Life. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, hold your head, Tory Lanez, for now. I don't want to put any hold your heads or free ups on anybody because he, if he's guilty, then that's just crazy. Well, according you know to saying? the Most High, this is the devil taking another shot. Mm. So, but do remember, it's always <coughs> innocent until proven guilty. Exactly. It's also yeah, in the court of law. It's all perspective because. One person's God is the next person's devil. Exactly. And when the next person's devil is the next person's God and vice versa. So Exactly. Yeah. You know. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. no, it, it, Praise I, to the most high. Praise <laughs> to the most high. Yeah. Yes, the fuck. Yeah. You know, the world's most <laughs> smoked out podcast. We the love most hip-hop. high is in the building. You feel me? Okay, we we'll, yeah. we'll can end it on that, I guess. <laughs> um, okay, give the people your social medias. Let the people know where to find you. RDHBarbers.com. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the business. That's the drop. Know? We got yeah. the barbershop, RDHBarbers.com. Yes. And I am on uh, Instagram. I am Rock the House. It's R-O-C-K-D-A. I am Rock the House at Instagram or whatever it's called. See. We're all kings, we're all queens, nothing is what it seems, nothing matters and everything matters at the same time. We are all kings, we are all queens. Yes. That's what it is. Thank you, Rock. Thank R-D-H you. RDHBarbers.com. Um, uh, Rich, the let the people know where to find you. Sponsor of the We Love Hip Hop Podcast. Yes. We're going to work it out. We're definitely going to yes. work it out. Yes. We're going to work it out. Um, Rich, let the people know where to find you. At Melanin Richie on IG. I'm not active. I'm living life here. I'm <laughs> <laughs> not active. So honest. You know what I'm saying? I love that honesty. Oh, so honest. Um, PK Herc, let the people know where to find you. Well, you don't know. It's me, PK Herc. You can find me on PK Herc on the Instagram streets if you're looking. Hey, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, shout out Sports Smokers Collective. Uh, shout out B Small, the Caesar Suspects, you know what I mean? B Small. Shout out Free People Association. Shout out Heart Toronto. Uh, my brother's basketball, I always mess it up. We're Toronto, where vision is measured by the heart. There hey. we go. Toronto, Heart of Toronto. There we go. Hot. Um, shout out Nice Clothing. Shout out um, Straight Business. You know what I'm saying? Again, I want to big up uh, Frankie uh, Juggernaut on his birthday. Adam Bomb. Um, Easy, I know. Also, their birthday is coming up all on Friday, October 16th. So shout out to those guys and whoever else I missed on October 16th. Big up yourself. And um, yeah, Toronto. Thank you, Rock the House. Thank you, Melanated, a.k.a. Nay Bob, a.k.a. Uh, uh, Starbucks, uh, a.k.a. Uh, Nay Greasy. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, 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 a.k.a. the <laughs> underground CD push up. Yes, uh, sir. Don't forget Baba in the corner over there, the a.k.a. the... The Sluggy Madugi Redemption Lawyer Consultant. Jesus. For a small fee, Bob. he will help you beat the case. <laughs> there you go. You heard it here. <laughs> I need a more fire. Exclusive. You heard it right here. We love hip hop. Jeez. Yeah, shout out Dutch. Shout out Gucci over there. Clear yeah. Star Studios. Gang, 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 gang. Shout out to my boy Isaiah Visuals. Yes, yes. yes. Shout out Isaiah Visuals. Bands. There you go. Shout out Six Views. Shout out Six Views Uncut. And um, shout out to Team Sanji, Rahio, Empress, you know what I'm saying? I and mean, shout out to the number <laughs> one, I said, I said her name and then the her number name one that. That hip-hop crazy. podcast. You got to say it. I know they say self-praise is no praise, but we saying it. No, you, over here. We love hip-hop, the number one hip-hop urban podcast in the country. See, hey. we don't say it. All right. You can say it. That's hey. right. So that's we how love, we like it. We love, we love hip-hop. That's what it is. Uh, 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 and everybody uh, listening, check this out. Message from Melanie Rich to you. I love you. That's hey. it. Hey. Um, Guts, you want to give them your social medias quick, fast? Guts, Guts. Uh, oh my God, I forgot. My bad. I forgot to shout out Guts. My bad. You did show me up. Well, I forgot. It's not like I forgot. I think I forgot. So. No, no, you didn't. Yeah, Guts, right, so, yeah, all uh, social media platforms. Um, yeah, be safe, Toronto. Six views, six views on Cut. Uncut, uncut, uncut. And, and watch it. Uh, and listen to us, please. On SoundCloud. Uh, nah, I don't say please. They got to know what it is. Uh, and I'm going to say this, too. This is the clothing. To see where y'all came from. To see where y'all are at. And to see where y'all are going, although God knows best, trust me, man, I'm proud of you guys. You guys are doing you. big things. Thank you. And it's, 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 uh, it's an honor to even be part of this and to even see. I appreciate y'all. Thank, Thank you. you. Right. Salute, Thank salute, you. respect. Um, hit me up on all my social media platforms, Friday, AK, oh, sorry, Friday Ricky Dread. 
Hit me up on my website, Friday Ricky, uh, Friday aka Ricky Dread. Hit us up on Instagram, We Love Hip Hop Network, and on Twitter, We Love Hip Hop To. Um, y'all got the six views already, and I think that's everything. Listen to us on all the listening platforms as well. Yeah, shout out the members. Yes, shout out all the members out yeah, there. Shout out the members, subscribers, all that. Good shout stuff. out to the comment gang and the winner yeah. of the prize pack. Yes, sir. Um, I'm gonna take us out with a tune here from the top um, from the top six by Taystax. Track is called "Nothing for Me." Bah, 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 bah. Big Taystax. Taystax. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up.